Alright. <laughs> Uh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Finally got that down there. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's the the second part. Oh, God. Oh fuck. Shit, that thing is deep. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on, everybody? Man, it's been a while. It's been a minute. Um. I don't even I don't even really know where to start because I just feel like I haven't done this in so long. It's a weird feeling. I feel like I'm starting all over again. So basically, I am at the world famous Santos Mountain Bike Park. Um, this is my second time coming here. The first time was a epic fail. Uh, I did a video on it. My pedal came off of my bike within about ten minutes of riding, and so I couldn't I couldn't ride. So I basically didn't do the trail so this is actually really my first ride experience in Santos and so um, this is a different entrance way my navigation took me a different route and last time that I came um, me and my friend actually uh, came into a different different entrance so I got behind a truck that had a bunch of bikes on it and I followed him and we came to this entryway which is super packed with people I mean, it's a lot of trucks and cars out here with bikes, so it must be a lot of people on the trail. But, man, let me tell you, it is like 75 degrees. The sun is out. It is the most beautiful day. Um, I know it's a lot out here, and I definitely can't see it within one, probably two or three trips. So it's going to take multiple trips to actually learn Santos, but I'm definitely uh, excited about it. It's interesting just watching certain people come by and what they're wearing out here. Like, I see people... With no helmets, I see people out here with just some some boating shoes on, riding their bikes. I see people with absolutely no type of safety gear at all. Um, but that lets me know that a lot of people out here have to be familiar with this particular trail if they feel this comfortable. So, um, hmm, if that's the case. I don't know. I feel like I'm over prepared. I got my body armor. I got my my elbow pads, my knee pads. I'm gonna probably be the only one out here looking crazy, but. Hey, I'd rather be more safe than sorry. Let me just learn the trail first. So a lot of you may be new to my channel. My channel is slowly starting to grow. So I appreciate everyone hanging in with me. Um, I appreciate everyone that's been checking out my videos. And with that being said, again, I just want to remind everyone, um, I haven't given up on mountain biking. I, I just, in the summertime, I only have really the weekends to ride bikes due to my job. And if it's raining and storming, you know, I try to avoid it, not because I'm scared about getting wet or muddy or anything like that. It's more so the fact that um, out here on some of these Florida trails, it's been raining every day, all day, all week. So these trails get flooded. A lot of these trails get very, very flooded and they get very muddy and the puddles and all of that stuff become like little ponds out there. I've, I've, if you see like the first three videos that I made, I've made videos where I actually got stuck in the mud and where like almost half of my bike is in the mud and some of these trails. And so I just don't want to go through all of that. I just I just choose not to really ride when it's when it's been raining all week long. And I choose not to ride when it's like almost 100 degree over 100 degrees with the humidity. You know, it's very tough riding in those conditions, even though I've done it. Um, it's not comfortable. It's, it's not pleasurable. It's not fun. And the last time when I went to Alafaya, I, I talked about it. I, uh, you know, I almost passed out out there. And that was a wake up call to like, you know, take this heat and humidity very serious. So I will, will admit I am a little out of shape. I am a little rusty with my stamina and with my conditioning. So it's going to take a while to get back into it. But this is the time. This is the weather to do that. So I'm excited about it. So anyway, um, I guess you can see in the background there's people all over. Uh, I don't know if you hear them in the background or not, but um, this is the entrance way that I actually have been seeing on a lot of videos with this particular um, this particular uh, ramp in the front of it. So it looks like this is a popular popular one that people start off on. So I don't know what this one is called because I don't know the park that well, but whatever it's called, this is the one that I'm going to start on today. Um, a lot of families out here. It's interesting. I've never seen this many families all at once. Kids, mothers, fathers. It's interesting. You know, so, but anyway, um, I'll check you guys out after the video, after the, uh, after the ride.
We're back over. Oh, we're back here. Like a dirt bike track. Yeah, it's part of the floor, I think. Bucket list. What's Scott showing us? Holy cow, it's a drop. Yeah, that's crazy. Nice. <laughs> 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 well, Travis did that. That looks like a lot of fun, so I think I'm going to launch it. Come on, Scott's trying to show us like a 40 foot drop off. Scott, this tail's a 40-foot drop. Oh. That's crazy. You ever seen someone drop it? No. Yeah. I, this is my first time here. Oh, my too, yeah. I see they got it locked, though. You probably. do much mountain bike riding? Huh? So you do a lot of mountain bike riding? Uh, when I get time, I've been doing it for probably about a year and a half now. But, you know, it's been raining so much and storming. Yeah. So this is like the first like beautiful day to come out and ride. Mostly what I just do is a lot of single track. Yeah. Uh huh. I've got like a, a cheap Walmart bike. Okay, okay. The mud and stuff is not as big a. Gotcha, gotcha. Pain. Yeah. I mean, they're still messed up, right but it's cheaper to fix. Launch it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I'll this thing, I'm just renting this for the day. Ah, uh, gotcha. How much did it cost to rent? Uh, I think ninety dollars for the day. For the day, okay. Gotcha. Six grand to buy. So, that's the six thousand dollar one. That's crazy, man. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it's got the gold fox. That's crazy, though. Yeah. I know enough to know about what, like, you know, half of what's on this bike. Yeah. That's awesome, though. 